Hello, hi friends, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other videos about Intune tutorial. So today's video we are going to discuss how we can create a dynamic device group in Intune. So let me start this video now. So as end of this video, overview of the device group, device type, group types, uh, membership type or roles, device attribute, expressions and the lapse scenario so let us go on through this video now so device overview so here i write something about the device overview to pick up from some some of the microsoft site so device group is a combination of the device when we club together uh, the multiple device and we are uh, just adding to a, a group that is called like a device group so it's kind of a assignment uh, assigned device group it, it can be a different type of combination so when we are uh, adding machines or when we are collecting the machine it can be a different type of devices like all windows mac devices android devices or with the multiple filters like i can say you can create a device group for all windows all mac devices all android devices or you can put some filters in inside that you want to create a windows device with a specific version or the mac devices with a specific version or a specific department or there are the multiple attributes that will see in it in my the coming slide so device can be add uh, added as a assigned or dynamic device group or the dynamic device user why i type it here uh, this uh, dynamic user type because um, we have like a three types of assignment there so dynamic group for uh, user and the device cannot add it to a single group so you cannot create uh, create a dynamic user and dynamic device in a single group so i mean to say you cannot add two types of query for the device and user in a single group so that group uh, can be a device a dynamic device or dynamic user so both the types of query you cannot merge together and a dynamic group for user and the device cannot be added to a single group okay fine user ca cannot assign to a device containing group so roles i'm sorry roles cannot assign to a device containing group so if, if you are planning to assign a, a roles to a particular group so you cannot assign a roles where the device are containing in the group so roles is basically for the user only so let us understand the device group so we have two types of group here uh, this is the microsoft office 365 group so it it used to collaboration between the users both inside and outside your the company or microsoft group can be accessed through the mobile app such a uh, outlook for ios or outlook for your android or my group member can send or send on behalf of group email address so basically i can say uh, like office 365 group is supporting only for the user not for the devices let me go with the security group so this group is granting access to the resource such as a sharepoint site so this is the one of example sharepoint site but this is not only uh, the the security group you using not only for the sharepoint site but basically it's meaning granting access to the resources resources in the sense it can be a user or it can be a devices security group can contains a user and device both so you can create a security group with the both combination like user and devices security group can create uh, can be created a device or a user uh or dynamic group both rule cannot be added into a one group so this sentence i explained you earlier also so in a in inside the security group also you cannot assign both the types of like user dynamic user or dynamic devices you cannot add to a single group so let me understand the membership so we have two types of group security group and office 365 group so what kind of membership it will support so security group will support assigned dynamic user dynamic device but office 365 will support only assigned and the dynamic users so let's understand what is the assigned 
so you can assign user or device manually so here your dynamic won't be work when you selected the assigned only the manually you need to add your user or the devices dynamic user so uh, can assign user based uh, uh, okay you can assign the user based on uh, user department can uh, user department location or with the other entities so there are the multiple entities where you can put your filter to detect the users like based on their department based on their location or or they are the other entities also there we'll see in the in my the coming ppts so that is uh, that will automatically add or remove so based on your infra modification like uh, users are new users added so automatically that group will detect that user or user leave the company or you delete that user from your indian consoles so automatically it will remove from your the indian uh, this group dynamic user group in the same way device uh, dynamic device group will work so you can create a group uh, uh, that that add or remove the automatically based on the identity like your os device or uh, os type or os version or there are the other identities also there so let's understand the attributes um, like uh, how we can write the query so based on these attributes you can put the filter or you can detect your the devices so account enabled you can write the query device dot account enabled hyphen equal to true so if you are using this command uh, you will be getting a uh, all the account enabled devices in your intune console and that with the display name also you can uh, search or the os type os type like you want to um, get all the windows uh, machines into your group so you can write the query device dot os type if n equal to windows or if you want uh, iphone or ipad so you can just type that device type equal to iphone um, ipad and the iphone so that's how these are the attributes you can use to create your the dynamic group let me go to the next slide so these are the other attributes uh, which you can use to create your the dynamic query whichever based on your requirement you can use the attributes now let me go with the expressions so when we was writing here query so we were giving like expression equal to or not equal to or there can be like a containing so here if you see in it it's contains uh, like a system level contains it's showing based on the system level we are matching with this value if this value is there in the system level then you can create a group so uh, what are the uh, what are the expressions we can use it here expression operators so if you are writing like a ne so it will be like a symbol of not equal to and uh, if you want to uh, type it equals so you can write hyphen eq and these are the um, uh, expressions you can use in the your query so let me give you the example if you want to create a suppose all devices like include your windows mac android you want to see all all the machines to in a group so what you can write it device dot object iphone not equal to null so that that will not detect um, um, any any of the object id which is uh, not equal to null it will take it and uh, wherever the device or uh, device id is there it will put it into your group if you want to create like uh, based on the os version you can write the query device dot os version hyphen equal to uh, you can put it to your the device version it can be of the any of the devices like uh, related to windows android or iphone ipad so you can put it like a uh, based on the version based on the category also you can create it like you want to detect your byod devices so what you can do it you can uh, write it like a query device dot device category hyphen byod so these are the example i have given to make you understand clearly how you gonna write your dynamic query and these are the some of the questions you can take a screenshot or you can read it uh, to posing the video so these are the frequently asked questions on the uh, technet side like if if i delete uh, coincidentally i delete any code of how i can restore it so here is a question and the guidance how you can do this 
so let me go with now uh, with the Intune console and I can quickly show you how you can perform the actions in the Intune console so you log in into the Intune console uh, go to the groups and uh, it's like I think my okay so these are the groups are available uh, in my Intune console and I'm going to create a group so we'll follow the security group uh, because this office 65 is not for the devices uh, let me go with the security group and uh, let me put it uh, all users and devices so let me show you first about um, the how you can create a assigned group uh, based on your um, where you can add your uh, devices and the user both as well so I'm going to use it assigned and don't select this option so if you select this option the roles will come uh, that is part of uh, user so if you select this roles and you want to assign the role so what will happen you will uh, you can select here the roles and uh, this scenario I will give you when I will be creating a video about the user group so if you assign this role and you want to add the any of the device like I have the device named by the tune so you cannot add actually so why because roles cannot be assigned to a device uh, device so roles can be assigned only for the users so let us go for the assigned and um, here let me assign the owner for this any of two owners I'm making it and now in the in the membership oh, okay I'm sorry I didn't click there just select this and uh, here what I can do it's I can let me type the in tune so I these are the two devices I'm going to add and uh, let's see whether I can add the users or not so these are the my users let me select it so I can able to add the users and let me create it so so now I can able to create a group where my the devices and the users also include in this group so you can see in it here I have the types of user and the devices also so that's how you can create a group which is containing the user and the devices but again uh, this group type should be the assigned so if you seen it here is the assigned and the group type is a security so let me give you the another scenario uh, under the security and I'm going to check for the windows and uh, so now uh, let me type like a windows and I want to detect uh, the specific version for the windows so how can I do this uh, let me go here and let me pick up any of the windows version uh, let me go that is why it is not showing devices just just I'm checking the my the device version from my the Intune console sorry in the Azure Active Directory so let me take this and uh, under the assigned uh, okay these are the value fine I can put it uh, windows version is this I'm going to create a windows version by this so my this group will be containing all the windows version related to this version now let us assign the ownership here and now we are under the membership how we can add it no I'm I'm sorry one minute it's not the assigned it's a dynamic devices so we added the um, the owner and now let me go with the um, dynamic so I'm going to select this device OS version operator to equals not contain it should be equals and let me put it this version here so it write automatically this query and you can match with this PPT where I shows you the expressions if you are using to uh, to detect the OS version so your query should be like this and the same way you can see in it here so device.os version is equal to with this 
and if you want to add uh, any of the uh, one more device there so you can go and uh, click on the add expression and you can follow the same thing here now let me save this and just create it so now our dynamic device group is ready and uh, this will be containing that windows specific version what i showed you so um, group but it it won't be so immediately to you here and the device is showing user is showing zero device is showing with zero so uh, still it says not updated so it will take some time to update it at least one or two minutes it will take to update this group in back end let me give you the one more example about this so now i am under this and uh, let let me detect all windows so you can type it here about the group description so this group as containing all windows version so let me go here assigned as uh, same owner i can assign the owner any of one two three four owners so here is a limit like 1000 owners we can assign to a group and here is uh, uh, we are not going to uh, add the uh, direct membership so we can cancel this we are going with the dynamic user query dynamic devices sorry so dynamic devices and now you can go again here put it like a os type and uh, here is equal to and you can go with the windows so this group will be containing all the windows uh, available in your infra so now the query is ready and you can create it so this query will uh, replicate within one or two minutes it will take to detect your all the machines or to execute the query in backend and it will show you the data here so let me go this query and see in it whether it's updated or not so still it is not updated i think it's uh, under the progress and uh, yeah meanwhile we can see in it here in our the um, azure active directory console so basically logic is if you are creating any group inside the azure active directory it will automatically replicate to your um, intune console or if you are creating any group in intune console it automatically will create uh, will replicate to your azure active directory so you can go here and can check your groups so here i am in here in the groups so these are the two groups all windows and the windows or all user and devices these are the three groups we create and you can see it here so the best practice is uh, when you want to create any of the groups in uh, in uh, in your intune so you need to go with the azure active directory so this is like some best practice microsoft recommended so you can go with the your um, azure active directory from there you can create and then it will replicate to intune or even you can create in the intune also as as you feel comfortable you can do it but both the process is same so let us go again now and uh, let's see so windows if you can find out the any of devices so it's still it not replicated so uh, it is taking some time uh, what we can do we can wait some time and uh, then it will replicate so uh, let's see it again uh, now if you go so here it's showing like a three devices and let me go to the membership and here you can see in it the we have the three devices a device cod test so this is for the all windows what we put it to detect like a windows uh, whatever windows in your infra it will detect into your group so let me see and uh, we created for a windows with a specific version so here we can see in it here it's a one device detected in this console so what was the that devices this devices is intune test one so guys that's how you can create your the dynamic group in your intune console hope you understand it well uh, if you understand it well just like my videos share it and subscribe my channel i will be coming back with the new videos for this how you can create user group or the office 365 group in your intune console so see you soon in my the next video good day